Okay, the horizontal and vertical stab look good, uh, other than some minor wrinkles. Uh, nice tight covering. Um, a couple of bubbles. Uh, a bubble is where the, you know you can tell it's not glued down. Uh, there's a good bubble right here and right here, and that's where the ironing. Uh, and there's a big long bubble right there. That's where the covering has not been glued down, and that's where you're going to want to. Um, use the iron with a sock on it and iron that down first. Don't try to use just a uh, heat gun to put that down because it won't stick right. You need the pressure of the iron to hold that down. So you can see that bubble right there is pretty long and I'm going to be very careful and iron that down. The iron will be on two different settings. One is the um, setting for the glue and glue that down, then you turn the iron up a little hotter to remove wrinkles. The iron will remove wrinkles just as well as the heat gun. So I like to use the iron mostly. If there's a couple of real minor wrinkles, I'll use the heat gun very carefully. Because you can melt the uh, plastic very quick. So those look good. Next will be the uh, fuselage. Okay, I'm back with the fuselage. Um, I start at the front and work my way to the back. The first thing I'm looking for here is the good glue uh, joints and that the uh, fuel proofing in the firewall area here is good and solid and uh, I think fuel proofing looks pretty good. No need to touch up fuel proofing. I'm looking at the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, blind nuts in there. And all the blind nuts look good. Um, they take those blind nuts in. So if you look in the blind nut, you'll see a piece of tape over it. You might have to take that piece of tape off or poke a hole in it to, before you try to start screwing in the screw. Um, I think they do that to... Um, um, I'm not sure they maybe they press them in and tape them and then CA them. Don't know, but those blind nuts are in pretty tight. So you got four blind nuts for the engine mount, two blind nuts for holding the uh, um, uh, the nose wheel gear, and other than that, that looks good. Again, the wrinkles uh, are pretty minor. Don't see too many uh, places where you got bubbles. A couple of small bubbles here. This is where it overlaps, so you always look for where the top part of this overlaps the bottom part and see if that, that overlap looks good. It's a good quarter inch overlap, which is nice. Uh, the the um, stickers are already on, good and tight. And you got to make sure that there's no stickers under the bubble, uh, bubbles uh, or wrinkles under the stickers. Uh, that looks good. Um, there's two um, exit holes here and one on the other side for where the push rods come out. They look good. Um, the two holes underneath here, one here and one here, um, you always look inside uh, where those holes are put in and you'll see some splinters. I try to remove those splinters uh, before I um, put the wing on. Uh, otherwise, that looks pretty good. So, this one looks um, like a pretty good fuselage. I think it's in good shape. Um, okay, um, off camera, I'm going to get out the wrinkles, tighten it up, iron it down, use the heat gun very sparingly, mostly the heat gun. I Mostly the heat gun is taking really, really fine wrinkles out. The iron is going to take out the bigger wrinkles and the bubbles. Okay, one last point on the inspection. I just remembered you always want to check the CA hinges on the elevator carefully. If you lose your elevator, you've lost your airplane. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. You can do without ailerons or you can do without rudder because the rudder will work to turn the airplane or the ailerons will work to turn the airplane. And you, So you can do without one or either of those but not both. The elevator, you got to have an elevator. You're not going to land. So I always do a very good inspection of the of the uh, CA hinges on the elevator. I also make sure that the there's a metal 
rod here that connect the two elevators together. Remember you only got one horn um, and you don't have two horns uh, for this. Okay. Uh, some airplanes, you, when you have a split elevator like this, you, you put on two horns. This one only has one. Um, so I'm going to make sure that the uh, gluing of this metal rod here into the two uh, halves of the uh, elevator is good. It does look good. But I'm going to add some CA uh, to the CA hinges just to make sure it's good and tight. Okay, thank you.